Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Welcome back. Uh, if you don't know, I'm, I'm working on going through 120 pounds of world coins. I have finished going through the first five pounds of coins from who we'll call seller number two. Uh, added a whole 180 coins from that five pounds to my collection. Now, when you think about that, generally, uh, we, we consider generally 100 coins per pound. Now, it really depends on if you have a lot of small coins or a lot of big coins. But if I have a 500 coins in 5 pounds and 180 of them are new coins to me, that's excellent. Of those 180 coins, there's 34 new types, which I have in front of me here. And uh, one new country that I didn't have before. And we'll get to that as we go through these coins. Um, but additionally, there was a little bit of silver. Uh, 4.175 actual silver weight. That's grams. Four, about 4.18 grams of actual silver weight. And I generally don't expect to find any silver in, in these world coin lots. So whenever I find any, I'm thrilled with it. I um, have an Australian coin. That's just because I didn't have that one with that uh, portrait of the queen on it. Botswana. Love to get Brazilian coins in my collection, one of my favorite countries to collect, so I'm always happy to get new types for that. We got a Chile, one Escudo. Another Chilean coin here, five pesos. I have similar coins to that already in my collection. Got a Colombian, 10 centavos from 1978. Uh, I like this Colombian coin from 1979. Kind of a real clean design. This was kind of a fun one from Czechoslovakia, 1992. Enjoyed that one. Got a Dominican Republic one here. Hopefully I'll get a better uh, example of this one day and replace this one, but it is an FAO coin, FAO, and I like to add those to my collection. Uh, this is another example where it's, it's just a different portrait of the queen, so I'm new to my collection because of that. Got a Germany. Got a really nice looking... One cent from 1992, Guyana. Really nice. And I've noticed that with quite a few of the, the coins I got from this collection. There were, um, from this lot, there were nice quality coins. This is in the new country I added, Oman. I did not have a coin from Oman before uh, looking through these, so I was really happy with that. Got a 10 uh, pays 1974 from India. Not terrible there. Let's see, this was a nice one from Lebanon. This is another example where it's just a really nice looking coin. Uh, you know, a lot of the coins I'll get are poor condition. You guys will see me card coins that you think, why in the world is he not just throw that coin away? I, I card some pretty terrible looking coins, but it's nice every once in a while to get a good looking one. New type for Mexico. Not every day I get a new type for Mexico. Have a lot of Mexican coins come by in, in different lots I look through. Sri Lanka. There you go. Pick up a few here. Got Netherlands and Chiles. Nicaragua. Really like this one. One centavo from 1934. Nice older one. Poland here from Poland. We got a new one here from Rwanda. Absolutely terrible condition. There are a ton of these in there. Ton. Um, hopefully I'll find one that's better before the end here. Romania. I do like coins from Romania. I hope to get some older ones from Romania at some point in my collection here. South Africa. Always adding new ones from South Africa because of how often they change the legend on there. Thailand, another example of just a really excellent looking coin. Turkey, 100 lira. Uruguay. Uh, Venezuela, 1,000 bolivares, which at this point I think is absolutely worthless as far as uh, exchange. If it's, not de if it's not demonetized. We got Yugoslavia. And we got one uh, from Zambia and one from Zimbabwe here. 
So I think uh, total that's about 34 coins right there that are new types. So cards going into my type set. But again, overall, I added 180 coins from this five pounds into my collection. Um, the difference there comes when I already have the type in the binder and it's just a new year of, of the same type. It goes into um, plastic containers instead of into binders. And um, also there were four, uh, over four ounce, four grams, not ounces, excuse me, of actual silver weight in this five pounds in addition to these coins. So it's just a little bit of silver, but it's nice to pick up some. But I hope you enjoyed just taking a quick look at these coins I'm adding to my collection. I, I love looking through world coins, getting new ones, seeing the designs they have on them, kind of learning about the history of different countries as they've changed their coinage over the years. If you have any questions or comments, please make those below and let me know if there's anything I can do for you uh, to improve my videos for you. Thank you for watching. Have an excellent day. See you guys again soon.